Game Byte Show. I'm your host, Jared Red Eye Dunn, joined by Jeremy Lawman Lamont. Hi there, everyone. That's right. I see you. I see you through your camera. <laughs> I really hope everyone's camera, just the little red light turned on just then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are bringing you a, a super special double stream uh, tonight. Double stream, a double header, a two for one. You get uh, two for the price of one. And I Which is still zero. It's free. We don't that, charge you anything for that, this. That's right. I mean, you could, like, throw money away, I guess. That seems silly, though. I don't know why you, you could do give that. me your money. I mean, you could throw it away into my That pocket. would be about the same as throwing it away. I'm just going to spend it on booze. <laughs> right. So, we are... Yeah, so... Two things happen. A, I definitely want to... We definitely want to keep playing our uh, cursed... Uh, Castilia playthrough. Yeah. But uh, the other thing happened was um, the signal from Tolva from Big Robot Games, I guess is their name, released today, and we have a copy and we wanted to play it. Yes, we do, and yes, we do, and yes, they did, Brad. Yes, they did. And look, look, is this not the most satisfying flashlight? The it's best kind part, of like halogeny. The best part is look at this. It, it has two brightnesses. Oh my goodness. Is like the high beams. Oh, there's fighting over there. So this game is what I've seen a lot of people describing it as as uh, stalker with robots. So you are the well, you are any number of robots. Um, which actually, you know, it, it's kind of funny. So essentially this planet is not inhabited. I keep getting this weird mouse sticking issue. I'm pretty sure it's my mouse because I've had issues like this before. But uh, there you have it. Um, so you're a robot, just like this robot. Here's a robot, see? This one happens to be friendly and not wanting to shoot me. Nice. Um, but when you die, you just inhabit another robot, because you are actually remote controlling these drones, so to speak, uh, from afar. What a great huh. mechanic for death. Oh, combat guidance. So this is actually about midway through the tutorial. Um, I kind of got started... <laughs> I wasn't sure how slow it would be. I got to where I thought we'd be into combat because we don't want it to be too boring. Right. Uh, but here we are. So, uh, swap your weapons with mouse. Yeah, I got that. Activate fence shield. Oh, what is mouse button three? Is that when you like press on the on the scroll wheel? Yes, usually. Did it work? Oh, look at that! Hey, hey. ah, ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's get a gun out here. Well, that looks like a pistol. Sorry, it's very dark. Um, maybe if I turn on my flashlight so I can alert all the enemies. Uh, so we're just wandering. So this is sort of a open world sandboxy type game? You, you know, I don't know why, but I, I thought originally that this game would be like a, a comedy game, like a jokey <laughs> game, but it is not. No, I think it's super serious. Um, the story so far... If you want, uh, I think it's becoming light. We will no longer need our flashlights. Um, is pretty vague. So the beginning of the game saw you, a ship sort of uh, entering the orbit of this planet mm -hmm. um, and going into like stealth mode or something because there's other ships. And then there was this conversation from the broker, whoever that is, with his client who you never saw about the signal we have found the planet but we'll have to search it one by one so essentially as far as i can tell um there are going to be a lot of noise signals you need to go clear out to find quote the signal okay. oh my mouse is going crazy um so i think that's what we're doing and we're just learning as we go are these guys good they are not good. Okay. They seem like they want to to murder me greatly. That seems good to me, though. Yeah. What is truly good? Well, this is like a real gun, so this seems good. Get him! Get wrecked! That seems super inaccurate. Okay, hold on. We got this. We got this. Bam. Ah! Get wrecked. Get wrecked, son. Um... One of the things I really like about this game that uh, kind of I noticed right away 
I have a little pistol. Uh -huh. We got a lot of pistols. Reload. I can do that. Uh, I have the sound turned down pretty low. Excuse me. Oh, he's friendly. I have the sound <laughs> turned down pretty low, but they these robots are very stompy. Boom, 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 boom. That's a, there's a satisfying stomp that robots sometimes get. I think I got my line of sight. Q mass basin beacon activated. Well, I don't know what that means, but uh, we did it. We did it, y'all. <laughs> objective completed. Right. I like this game already. It's uh, it's very objective completed. Yeah. So, it this is an interesting one, right? Like, it looks pretty good. I'm. Not, I mean, like, we're not talking like life, like uncanny valley visuals here, but I think it looks pretty good. It's kind of stylized and, and yeah, yeah. painterly. Uh, sort of, was, I mean, uh, maybe not quite borderlands maybe? Yeah, it borderlands without the cell shading, right? Whoa, right. I just blew that guy up. Um, it was like a 500 megabyte download. I don't understand that. Hello? I, I'm always impressed with that when, like, it's a super fancy game, but then it's like small footprint. I like that. Yes. I dig it's it. Neat. Oh, the guy's right here! Got him. Get wrecked, son. Reload. Uh, yeah, so this little mouse dead zone thing's kind of killing me. I'm pretty sure it's an issue with my mouse. I had this same issue with, uh, The Witcher 3, believe it or not. It's that aged carpal tunnel you got going on. No, it's like... It's like the mouse doesn't want to move. It thinks I'm not moving it enough or something. And it's like... Has to do with pulling, right? You know, gaming my, mice, mice, mouse. Gaming mice is a scam. Don't ever believe them. You don't no. need a gaming mouse. Use the mechanical keyboards, also. Yeah, yeah. The Microsoft Intelli mouse from 1997. Is that is what I'm saying. I'm using like a wheel sufficient. mouse. Yeah. I still have to take out the ball and like <laughs> wash the ball. That's right. You don't have to worry about the mousing surface. These guys are doing like literally all the work here. I, I'm fine with this. I don't so, know. What... So, talk to me about like how do these guys work? I mean, I guess this is still the tutorial, right? So we didn't. We're not really accountable for these guys yet. No. So these are friendly, um, right there. Like you saw those guys like coming up. So that base I was in was full of friendly robots, and I think they're friendly because of the chassis I'm in. Uh, but I'm not really sure. So it kind of mentioned that earlier that if you change your type of robot, you'll, you know, they may not be friendly anymore. Um, so that's an interesting mechanic. You also have like this thermal vision, which lets you see like resource things on the map sometimes. Oh, yeah. So I'm just kind of exploring. I don't know what these guys are. They haven't bothered me yet. Famous. Well, let's words. um, let's talk about what we know about the signal from Torva. Torva. You have to say it right. Torva. 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 Um. So open world. Yeah. And uh, according to our friends over at Big Robot Limited, um, they did make by it. Dynamic, they might know. Dynamic AI events. Of yeah. course, they're our friends. Did you say they're not our friends? I I follow them on Twitter. So close personal friends. Big Robot Limited. Uh, I've been to their house, and uh, in Torva. Yes, I messed up their guest room. <laughs> you Torvid in it? <laughs> I Torvid it, Torvid it all over the. Uh, so driven by dynamic AI events and interactions. So I guess the the robots um, are kind of aware, self-aware, like they'll yeah. adapt to that's, that's changing the, scenarios. That's the going theory. So so me. what that means is that. Um, that missions are given to AI patrols just dynamically rather than necessarily scripted events. Um, so you can have fights any old where, and uh, you know you might hide behind a different rock this time than you did last time. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, th again, th I think that's a, a lot where the stalker references are probably coming from. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Stalker series, if, if you're not familiar with those games, had a lot of similar <clears throat> sort of aspects. There were... I have to figure it out for myself. All right. Well, that means gun time, guys. <laughs> That's what that means. Um, you know, those games were very much driven by the AI that was sort of wandering. I, I really need to figure out this mouse issue. Um, sort of wandering the landscape. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
So we're gonna go up this uh, platform because why not? See, there's gonna be guys in here that just need to get got. I can feel. I can feel and it. And you're just the guy that needs to get them. That's right. Do it. Yeah, we're going lights on, boys. Got him. Nice. I mean, he, very nice. We can you there you can't prove he was already dead. You totally fit him. I totally <laughs> I'm literally lost already. Um we better go with the high no, the high beams are not good. They got very bright. Hmm. So I think um No, no jetpack though, guys. So, that, that yeah, I'm as disappointed as you are. <laughs> All right, now we're winding down weird hallways. Uh, what? Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so this game is totally messing with my mind. Because we just went down that room. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go down this hallway. What? This is the entrance. I can almost guarantee this is the entrance, y'all. Ow. That looks like it hurts so much, but maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, so you can also scan artifacts, I guess, in your little scanny thermal mode. That's something I learned earlier in the tutorial. And when you scanny them, mm -hmm. what does that do? Do we know? Um, I think it eliminates it as the signal from Tolva. It is not the signal. That is just a piece of floating stuff. I see, joke. I see. Uh, what he was just telling me was I could walk back like a plebe, or you, uh, here's the bunker. Hold on. F to hijack new zone. So you can just respawn. It, what, what I really love is I did this once earlier, just kind of messing around, is I don't remember if Oh, no, he does look the same. Sometimes it changes, like, what you look like, which I thought was pretty silly. I, I was actually just wondering how much of this was dynamically generated. I mean, I have to assume that the terrain is static. Like, it must stay the same, but it's the... I, the, I mean, I mean, I guess it's not, like, randomly generated, for example, on different playthroughs. Yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I would assume that's correct, but... Uh, so this has... Scout class medium repeater railgun with standard scope. Railgun fitted for sniping. Do I have 80 credits? I have 845 credits. So yes. Yes, I want to go ahead and equip this. I don't I don't know. I haven't uh, messed with the weapons yet. So what's this? The ghoul. Rank 1. I am not rank 1. I'm nearly rank 1. So let's just go back. We'll just call that good for now. I think I have a different head. <laughs> Alright. Um, did I upload? Oh, I have like... Notes here. I'm not going to read all those. Do we want to read those? I'm not going to read all those. Mm, we, don't, we ain't got time for that. Who's got time for that? Um... Probably no, should don't. read those if no. you're like interested. Oh, there's shooting to be done, my friend. Oh, look, I can respawn here and then maybe go out this way. I, honestly, it feels like it'd be just as quick. So let's just let's just do this. And you can pretty much go anywhere, right? I mean, there's nothing really limiting uh, you. As far as I know, I mean, we can try running over to this 
uh, death skull location. That seems like a good idea. I think that so, would only end in tears. Which every game bite show ends in, so... That's true. Yeah. <laughs> the logical conclusion. This is a turret, it told me. It said this one's friendly, so it won't blow my head up, but uh, they look pretty mean. I don't, I don't know that I want to mess with turrets. Yeah, so it's, again, it's kind of a pretty game. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, I think it's the crash. There was supposedly a crashed spaceship, which some robot faction guys will not like. What is that? Bandit dropship. Wait, did it say it was ugly? Ugly variant. I mean, who doesn't agree with that? Some robots are pretty. Some robots are ugly. Look at this. Is it... There's nothing there, though. Oh, well. All right, let's do this. So, so the other thing that uh, kind of comes to mind, I don't know if this is really true, but uh, Big Robot describes this game as kind of a cross between, like, chill exploration and then, and then you know, the, the robo-combat. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wonder if there's any comparison here to, like, No Man's Sky? Yeah, I think that's a sort of uh, tempo they're trying to go for. Maybe with a little more combat. I mean, we, we saw it kind of earlier. It seemed to kind of come at you. But, I mean, obviously these are some pretty open landscapes with not a ton of enemies in them. Um, so I, I'd be curious to play a little further and, and see, like, do the enemies get... I mean, that firefight we were in seemed pretty simple. I think we were at half health when it ended, but uh, do th does it get harder, or, you know, how exactly does all that work? We shall see. I still don't know what these things are. Uh, not a lot of dialogue in this either, huh? No, uh, no dialogue. It's all... So here's a bunker we can go capture. That seems alright. Let's go do Get it. it. Uh, so that that's the thing. So like instead of scripted events, I guess you might just run across some you know like random troll or something. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Or like here's a here's a thing I want to go take over. Yes. Let's see if I can do it. it it's like trying to uh, channel Skyrim's random exploration, right? I'm gonna that's capture this bunker, and on the way, you stop and do ten other things. Yeah, and exactly. Totally forget what you're doing initially. That's one of the cool things that that, that one of, you know one of the sort of main cool things, capital C, capital T, cool things in video games, um, you know, that, that uh, discovery, finding things. The other thing, though, that this does that it's cool is having stuff on your team, right? Like having AI guys. Yeah. I do uh, wish, That's always super cool in games. Like, can they come, like, help me? Can I be like, hey, you bros, follow me? I I'm not sure if that, that exists. Um, that Are was there, actually... Like, commands for that? Yeah, well, I have no idea. So that I'll was look actually... Them up one of the things I really liked in, say, like, the Mountain Blade series, um, where even, even thing, if you gained enough influence, say, with a certain faction, or lord, or whatever, you could, uh, you could essentially ask them to follow you, or, or like, notify them. Is there a hold breath button? Why is my robot breathing? Get him. Get good, son! Oh, oh my goodness, there's so many of them. You know what else is interesting is uh, this developer, Big Robot, their previous game was Sir, You Were Being Hunted. Yes. Which, which uh, I don't think was super well received. Um, I, I don't think it was poorly received. I think it was just that not many people played it. Yeah. I mean, I think people who played it liked it fine. I remember there was a lot of, uh, like, a groundswell of support for that game before it uh, actually it, it came was out. A, it was an interesting concept. I'm not sure how, yeah, like like you said, how well-received it was uh, in terms of if it were was... Per oh, wait, did I capture this? We did it. We did it, y'all. Nice. We did it. Um, let's see. Can I talk to you? Okay. Can, can I talk to Hello? 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 Interface. Begin data <laughs> transmission. Alright, I guess we can't talk to him. What if I just shoot my gun wildly in the air? Oh, he did not like that, actually. Um, none of them liked it. 
It wasn't me. I'm unarmed. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, well, let's continue on our mission here to uh, go get ourselves murdered at this. Here's a... Yeah, so these are the different scan locations. So I, I'm not really sure. I mean, this looks scarier, so it probably gets scarier as you come over here. How how big can you can you zoom that map out anymore? I no, mean, this seems to be it. So I'm not it. sure if it is randomly generated. But, yeah, I don't know because it seems like there's a fairly. I mean, it doesn't take you that long mm -mm. to run from one place to another. So and, and maybe it opens up as you complete. I, I wonder if it's the kind of game that you would play it in, say, a long afternoon or something like I that. I would be entirely okay with that. Yeah, me too. I, in fact, I've been thinking lately about games like... Uh, did you ever have a Nintendo 64? No. Kind of. This is semi-related. But uh, Star Fox, right? Yeah. Remember the game Star Fox? I remember Star Fox. And the thing about Star Fox was you pretty much would sit and play it until you were done, but you could have a lot of variety and enjoy a pretty different experience. I mean, there was a finite number of set paths, but you right. could pretty much play through the game from start to finish in an afternoon or in a day, and it wasn't a bad thing because you could go back and play a slightly different version of it later. And I kind of wonder where games like that are. It where seem like comeback they happen that often. Variety, where where have you gone? Yeah. Here we are, stomping up the mountain. Stomp, stomp. Uh, yeah, so the, the other thing that uh, Sir You're Being Hunted, their previous game, was big on that this one really appears to not be whatsoever is... Uh, that game was a, a lot about stealth and kind of trying to remain undetected and move around and, and become undetected again once you've been detected. Uh, this does not, as far as I can tell, does not have that aspect whatsoever. I don't right. see a sneak mode. Uh, maybe there is later on. You know, I don't. You're know. too stompy. Like every time you try and sneak, you. I know, right? Knock you dishes off the walls. Chass that is a spaceship that's flying. Oh, we're checking that out. Uh, we don't really have much of a premise for this game either. Like, we don't necessarily know why we're here, right? No. Well, we're here to find the signal. The signal. Uh, like the signal the, was... As far as, like, what's actually... I mean, what is the signal from Torva? Do well, we even I, know? No. Oh. Well, fine, then. Um... <laughs> No, we don't know. So essentially, we flew, or the broker flew into orbit, hid from the other spaceships in orbit, which I don't see. I assume it was one of these guys, or these guys are in orbit, one of these crashed, because he did mention that one crashed. Right. Um, and uh, we're looking for the signal for an undisclosed... Uh, Unknown thing. Customer, I guess, so to speak, has purchased the signal, whatever it is, for us to find it. Well, that guy looks dead. This does not look like it had a good day. I'm going to be honest. But I'm going to loot it anyway. It's up there. Oh, we're going up there. So I'm not sure that we're going to get to our objective, because I've now wandered around aimlessly. So, uh, and we will probably cut this off right on time-ish at our 30-minute mark, because we want to get to that second stream. Which, uh, we're going to be going back and making good on your promise to complete Cursed, Cursed Castilla. Castilla. Yeah, I, I All don't... in one, in, in one fully streamed extended event. Continuum, right? It is an extended event. To be continued. Last time on... We're going to watch you show. fight uh, a couple of bosses... Two dozen times, right? At least, <laughs> at least. What is this thing? Because it's pretty cool. I'll be honest. Beacon offline. Well, oh, why don't you like me, sir? Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, got him. Oh, there's a bad guy. Oh no. Uh, hello, mouse. I would like you to work now. Ah, my buddies to the rescue. Look at them go! They're super useful! <laughs> Get them! And they kind of have a cuteness to them. They, they really do. They're super cute. I'm going to be honest. Ah, the beacon was activated. So was that this beacon? Oh. Yeah. Cool. 
Well, let's reload. I'm not sure what he's doing when he's reloading here. Pumping energy into it, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Spitting on it. Yeah, just rubbing dirt on it. Robots aren't very smart. It's type really. of game every every person's dad could get into because you just rub dirt on it when it's broken. Kick <laughs> it. Uh, what is this? I uh, what was that? I just totally hit the wrong button. We've done it. Archive remnant thirty two. Whatever that means. It's got us a Steve Steam Chivo though. That's that's worth, nice. That's worth note of noting. Acceptable. Yeah, so this is available on Steam. I'm not sure for how much. I actually didn't look. Are these bad guys? They look like bad guys. They're not yellow. Let's get them. Yeah, you know we hit them. <laughs> okay, we gotta start getting kills, y'all. Oh, that was that was that could have been clutch, but it wasn't. Oh no. Take cover. It's a cover shooter. Lots of uh, waist high walls here in this game. Where'd they go? They didn't want. Oh, no, there they are. Oh. Oh, this guy's getting close. Ah, not anymore. He's getting close to death. I just hit that guy with a crotch shot. I don't know if you noticed that or not. It's clearly what I was going for. Alright. We gotta get their little glowy bits. Whatever those do. Whatever they do, we're getting them. They are there to be collected. That's right. They're there to be got. We, get, we found them first after we killed them and took them from them. Alright, so I think we kind of get the point of what this game is. I, I, we probably, I might play this a little bit more um, as I kind of get familiar with it and figure out what's going on. Maybe stream it a bit. It seemed, like, I, like the description said, this game is definitely super chill. Um, and yet with robot combat. Yeah, which everyone loves robot combat, right? It has the fighties. Oh, man. This guy has some, like, really nasty... Whoa! Whoa! Hacker. Alright. Alright. Well, let's... Let's, uh... Yeah. F to hijack new drone. Upload the data we got. See if something cool happens there. Hey, bros. No? I thought we had totally gotten some, uh... Mm. Oh, we unlocked lore! Oh, man. The worst kind of unlock. That didn't level me up at all. <laughs> but maybe we learned something. Ugh. Any, anywho. Uh, Signal from Tolva. Really cool game. I. It's actually kind of intriguing, just, uh, again, in its uh, sort of casual exploration. I'm curious to kind of dive in more and learn actually uh, discover what the signal is and why it exists. I bet it's a human baby. It's uh, it's just the oldie station. Yeah, it is. It... <laughs> Talk radio. It's NPR. <laughs> anyway. We've discovered it. That's it. We That's cracked right. it in we half an it. hour. Yep. Done it. Logging off. So uh, we're going to drop... I'm going to drop off and uh, get the next game fired up. We will then relaunch the stream. I know you could change it midway, but come on, guys. It's easier when I go to archive these. We'll cut it uh, off. Yeah. So uh, we will uh, be back in five minutes. Bye. Or less. Yes. <laughs>